Okay, Mira, ready? Okay, just raise your hands for English and then we'll switch to national language. I'll get us started. Mira, well done today. A big win for you. Just how are you feeling generally? Um, of course, I'm happy I uh, played with Ons. It was uh, one of my dreams to play against her because uh, I really like the way she plays. And I, uh, as I said before, I'm inspired by her. And so it means a lot uh Today it meant a lot, th this match that I won, and uh, I'm excited, yeah. Okay, who'd like to get us started? Yep, right there. What is it that inspires you about Ons? I don't know, sh just the way um, she's on the court and off the court, she's so nice. And uh, now after the match, she came to me, she wished me luck, uh, and uh, I just know that uh, she... She is who she is, and she never changes, and uh, that's what I like about her. Okay, Matt. Hey, Mia. Uh, congratulations. I just, uh, two questions. Is that, is that the best match you've ever played um, in terms of your level, considering the level of the opponent? And also last year, uh, you, told the, you, you complained to us about chemistry, and I was curious if you were still doing your schoolwork and what subjects you were taking and what was your su the subject you didn't like now anymore? Uh, so the first question, uh, probably it was the best match. The first set, um, as I said, I didn't expect that I would play this good. Second set was also not bad. Um, so yes, for me it was an amazing match and I'm super happy with the level that I showed today on the court. And about school, I still don't like chemistry. I still have to do a lot of school. It actually started um, two days ago. Uh, so I have to do it. So, yeah. Um, yes, Hi, Mira. Well, well done. Uh, that's your second match on Rod Laver. Obviously, you lost the girls' final a year ago. How much was that losing that final? How much was that motivation for the whole of your success last year? Honestly, after I lost the final, I was just super upset. I uh, I didn't think about anything else for maybe a week. I was just uh, replaying the match in my head, and I was thinking, God, this I should have changed. I should have changed that. I should have changed this. And uh, um, honestly, after that, after all my complaints to myself, I forgot about this match. I decided to move on. It's like... It's not the most painful loss of my life. I will have, I'm sure, a lot of um, offensive matches where I may be leading the score and then I lose, maybe. I hope this will not happen, but I think it will because it's tennis. And um, after that, I just moved on. And today when I saw that I play in Rod Laver, I said that... This time, I have to take my chance, and I have to win on the big court for the first time. And uh, so I did. OK, Jonathan. Uh, I was wondering how you mentally prepared to face your idol. Did you feel any extra nerves? Did it feel surreal? Just, just tell us how, how, you, feel, how you felt. Yes, I uh, was really nervous before the match, but uh, I saw that she was nervous too. And uh, I don't know, it kind of helped me because I'm not the only one who who is nervous before the match and uh, I just uh, I decided to just enjoy uh, because it's Rod Laver Arena I'm playing against the person uh, that I like and I decided to just to play and uh, I think um, I played okay okay we'll do Tumaini Simon and then this lady here Tumaini I'm a uh, I, I noticed, you, obviously, you're restricted by the amount of tournaments you can play with your age, but I noticed you played a lot of exhibitions um, at the end of last year. Just wondering how it helped you, and also just being around top players you know, in, in Dubai, how, how those things helped you when you haven't been able to play as much as other players. Well, uh, yeah, that's the rules, but you cannot go against the rules. And uh, last year, we decided to add more exhibition tournaments to play more matches and uh, they invited me to play in World Tennis League and at first I didn't want to go because I would I thought that um, nobody will like to have me in a team because I'm I'm young I'm not experienced and 
um, after the first day that I lost my singles match and we lost the doubles, I thought, well, why did they invite me? And so I was so sad, but then I, I, I said to myself, if they invited me, then maybe I play not too bad and uh, they wanted to see um, my level on the court and uh, I decided to just let it go and on the second day uh, we won doubles I think and mixed doubles we lost I'm not sure yeah we lost the mixed doubles with Andre and we won the doubles uh, with Sophie and so after that I was super pumped to play um, another match on the next day and the atmosphere in our team was amazing so I really liked it and I hope uh, next year I uh, I will have a chance to come back. Okay, Simon? Amira, Ons is usually the queen of drop shots but you played a lot of good drop shots today. Did that feel extra special because you were playing her? Yes, I was um, preparing for this match and I knew that she was going to do a lot of slices and drop shots, so uh, since yesterday I was working on it. And uh, the drop shots, I am also not very bad at drop shots, so um, I decided at first to not to do a lot of drop shots because um, I think that she's better in all these games. So I just decided to try to beat her on the baseline. And uh, after... I don't know, it was just the momentum when I decided to do a lot of a couple of drop shots. And uh, I think she's still better than me at this, uh, but uh, I, I will improve. Okay, this lady over here. Wondering if the uh, Paris Olympics is something that you're interested in and if you'd, uh, if you'd go, if you were able. Maybe, uh, um, I don't know if, if I go, but um, if I have a chance to go, then of course I'm super excited uh, to play and... Uh, um, to participate it's also one more tournament that uh, it's a dream to play and uh, we will see so but for now I don't know okay any more in English uh, Courtney uh, Mira congrats um, what do you do what do you tell yourself to not get ahead of yourself and think about rankings wins, tournaments, what you could potentially do given what you've already done at 16? Um, I just I just try to not to think about that. I just, I don't think that I uh, achieve something incredible. So I have time still to do that. And so um, sometimes uh, when I'm lying in bed, I can overthink a little bit, but uh, the next morning I'm... Uh, I'm totally fine. I mean, I mean, I'm 16. Why do I have to think about the rankings? I'm going a bit higher, and so my goal is to go higher and higher, maybe for a little bit, but still higher. So um, I don't know. I just try to not to think about that and just to think about uh, tennis, and that's it. Okay.